morning well today I made a trip all the way up north from I live on the eastern shore so I just headed to meet my buddy Nort we are going fishing taking our normal spring trip to Piney Run Reservoir um, in Sykesville Maryland um, we're going to hopefully get some pre spawn bass today um, I don't know what the water temps should be here but it's a little chilly this morning I think it's only gonna be a high of 60 with i think a little bit later in the, in the morning around 11 it's going to call for some uh, maybe some rain showers about 40 percent chance and uh but i'm still thinking we're pre-spawn let's get this boat ready to go if you look at all that my buddy brought that with the green he brought this he brought this and he brought four rods he brought all these rods I don't know why I asked him, why did you bring all this stuff? He's just going to fish a, rack, a wacky rig all day. That's all, he, that's all he fishes when he comes here, but he brings enough. <laughs> he, brings, he brings the kitchen sink knowing he's only going to fish one lure all day, for the most part. All right, so I got my, my Yoto Tech power stick. And what I do is you put it in here, you turn your lights on, and this will power all day long. And the good thing about this is a lot of times the battery will overheat this thing. So what you can do is that while you got it external, external, I don't have any, I don't have any battery in there at all. But they're calling for rain today. And this is not waterproof because I have this put in here. So what Yellow Tech has is these little silicone, little silicone uh, things. Um, if you can notice that I actually have it right here around my, my, um, my one thing and you're going to put it around your gopro here and what that's going to do is just it's not going to make it waterproof but it's going to make it water resistant if we get a little showers or something if it gets bad then i most likely i might just put this away but you're just going to wrap it around it just cut off no you're good it's on. It's on. you hear it beeping. all right so you make it into a nice little wormy looking thing and then you just wrap it around here and this is just going to make it water resistant the silicone to help save it from not being waterproof and then that's it you plug it in am i yolo, yolo tech actually sells these two lift it up and now if you lift this up this right here will lock this in so now i can go 40 mile an hour 40 mile an hour down a thing and you ain't got to worry about this coming out Told you, I don't know why he brought all, why did he bring all that gear? He, he brought like 15 bags of gear and he's gonna fish a wacky rig all day. I still don't understand why I did it. Frog. Yeah. Frog. Yeah. Oh, Frog. Then I started having a hard time going.
with fresh line on there? Yeah, last year. Last year. <laughs> Especially the um, right over there where the tree stumps are at. You don't mind if I catch a fish while you're doing that, do you? You know what that does? That ties us back up, buddy. raining not bad hardly no wind which is awesome so we fished till about one we got about we caught some fish all different kind of ways all right so now i am home let me show you what let me show you what i used today that actually caught my fish the first fish i caught on and a couple fish i caught today and i'm talking it seemed like six inches of water they were one was on a point 
um, that was shallow that came out. And I threw this as a zoom horny toad. Um, probably my favorite frog. Um, it's like a subtle buzz bait. You know, if you're gonna wanna throw a buzz bait, whopper plopper or something, and maybe it's making too much noise, because I was gonna throw a whopper plopper today. But I think you might, in the, in the springtime, you might wanna be a little bit more subtle. Like crankbaits not being so wobbly. And this one, so this was subtle. Um, didn't get a lot of bites on her, but when I went to a shot, when I got into a shallow area where they might be spawning, running around, um, the fish that I got, the one fish literally came about five feet away when I started rolling. It came five feet away to attack this. Um, right, right before I threw it in there, there was a bunch of bait fish that just exploded over there. So obviously there was a, there were some a bass up in there chasing bait fish. Uh, so I threw this in there. And um, I got one bite, threw it back in there, and that and that one uh, female, looked like a female, come and grab that. And this is good, this is probably one of my favorite colors. It's just like a green pumpkin. You know, black's pretty good, but I kind of stick with this color. Texas, hey. So what I have in, the, in these, real quick, and in these, what you have is, see there's a slit here? Now I used to do it, there's a slit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. So there's a slit right here. Now I used to take this and bring it through the other way to where the sl where the hook would stay in that slit, would stay in that slit right there to keep it weedless. But I had an old gentleman, and it, an old gentleman tell me, so what would happen is that when I did get a bite and it came through, it was very, uh, not only so much of the hook came out, but he says, well, you need to turn it the other way. That way when you get a bite, that slit, more of the hook, see how much more of the hook comes through? Um, so I actually turn it the other way and I put it through the slit and then I pinch it. I'll bring it down in and then I'll pinch it in like that to make it weedless. Um, a, a red crankbait, I mean a red lipless crankbait and I wasn't getting anything. I was thinking maybe staying out a little bit, um, but wherever there was wood, um, anywhere, if the, every time I got a bite, there was two of them that I got a bite um, away from cover, but the other ones that I got a bite on and a couple couple hits and wiggles but came off um, was whenever I banged it off of wood. And there's not a lot of laydowns in Piney Run, there's not a lot, um, but whatever I did, whatever I could get to or anything coming out, I would throw this crankbait and this was the color. Um, I think it may be a red, uh, you know, like a red color, you know, a crawfish color or something like that, or more like a shad color. It's probably what I should have should have thrown. Uh, what I would think, because it's so clear, the water is so clear, you know, so you think, you know, natural colors is what you want to throw. But this was the color right here. I had this tied up and I was hoping to God that I would not have to throw it. I threw it once or twice, but it's just a shaky head. Um, I threw that. He was going to throw a wacky rig. So I figured I would throw the shaky head. I only picked this up once today. Um, fished it for a little bit and I was like, nope, it's springtime. There's no way that I need to be fishing slow right now. Um, this was one of them days I thought that, I thought that any type of lure could have, you could have caught him on anything. I threw a, had a spinner bait on there. He threw a chatter bait for a little while. Um, and then the last one I caught with, um, I, did, I, I figured a rattle trap, a lipless crank bait would work, but I threw a red. I threw um, kind of a, a shad color with like a purple top, black purple kind of, it wasn't catching anything. And um, I said, come on, let's go with the all, my old favorite chrome blue. And the chrome blue, I threw it one time. We were pretty much almost done for the day. Uh, threw it one time, caught a little tiny fish, hit a log, and uh, but it was deeper. It was away from the bank because um, in Piney Run, the water, the banks, the banks really, um, you come off and they will drop. I mean, we were only maybe five, six foot away from the um, the bank and we were already in nine foot of water. So that's how far it dropped. Pine Ron's a great place, but I tell you what, crabbing season is starting right now. Um, it's already crabbing season, but the water's too cold, but it is not too far away. I tell you what, if you go to this video right here, this will show you uh, some fall crabbing me and the wife did. We have fun doing it and we will have a lot of crabbing coming up this year, even with Captain Rachel, all right? See you later.